Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka, hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this flying tutorial, I'm gonna show you on how to set up live 2D like steppies, but for water dough, so that way your 3D model can have some more lively movements for VTubing. Now, big thanks to Gilly for providing this blueprint, which you can check out their social media in the description below. Uh, but I do wanna have a bit of a disclaimer before I get started though. Now. If you are brand new to Autodo, you have no idea what to do, don't follow this tutorial yet. Please check out the many other tutorials I have, you know, learning how to set up your tracking for the first time, maybe learn how to make some redeems for yourself, and get more comfortable with the program before attempting this tutorial. I also want to say too is that if you're someone who ends up using dance redeems or you're using a lot of poses that manipulate your legs such as lying down or flying or if you're using Tutu's walking blueprint, um, if you get overwhelmed too easily and you heavily rely on those dance poses, anything that manipulates your legs, don't. I don't recommend using the Steppies blueprint as it relies on IK and you as a beginner might get a bit confused and say something broke when that's just because certain things are just conflicting that aren't supposed to be mixed. Certain controls can't always be mixed. But if you know what you're doing, then please use the set asset property node, make that into a toggle, toggle your IKs on and off, and you can be able to, you know, mix these steppies and still use your dance redeems and so on and so on. Just as a disclaimer, if you have no idea what the frick I'm talking about, then I wish you best of luck. And if you need further help, join the Waterdo Discord server. We'd be happy to help you out. Otherwise, though, let's proceed with this tutorial. So what you're going to do, you're going to go into the Waterdo Discord server. You have to join it in order to get the blueprint because that's where it's located. Unless Gilly puts in an alternative link that is in Discord. But you're going to join the Waterdo Discord server. And once you uh, are joined, you simply just go all the way to the bottom where it has the blueprint sharing channel. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find the one that says live 2d like steppies the one from gilly and then what you're going to do is that you're going to find this json file right here simply click on this arrow here and just click and download it if there's a newer version then you'll download that one instead and you can see here a preview of her tracking that shows the live 2d steppies now of course um in case you're curious about what about the body lean that she does in the video like that or the eye jiggle or how does she do the tracking like that again i do have tutorials that go over each of those things and it's just up to you on experimenting for your personal taste so just want to say that in advance those things already have their own tutorials but either way though once you have that downloaded the first thing that we do have to do is that we have to go over to character right here and we need to enable our foot IKs so go over here to body IK here and then you're gonna scroll down and what you're going to do is you're gonna click on these arrows right here and you're gonna click on this big blue button right here to make a temporary IK. Now, just so I can make sure that we don't have any frick ups with the blueprint, we are going to turn these into permanent ones. Uh, so bear with me on this. So what you're going to do, we're gonna quickly rename this. So this one is going to be renamed to the left foot IK. Hit the enter button. Click on this one right here, and then rename asset right foot IK. Click OK. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the left foot one and then press the duplicate asset. Do the same thing with the right foot. Duplicate asset. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go back to character and you're going to remove the temporary IK. And then it'll delete the, it'll delete the original one. But the one that we duplicated will pretty much you know, stay put, it'll also be in the position it should be, again, just for convenience sake. Uh, and then what you're going to do for left foot, set that to the left foot IK, make sure that this is set to enabled, and make sure that the position and rotation weight is set to, you know, it's set to one for the foot IK. And then what you're going to do is for the right foot one, set that to the right foot, and then click yes, and then make sure that both weight and uh, both the position and rotation for the weight is set to one like so just like that And again, if you experience any issues, you could probably manipulate these settings to what you're looking for 
But otherwise though, once you have your IK set up, what we're going to then do is go over to the blueprints tab right here. Simply go over and click on this more button, which is the three dots right here. Then import blueprint from file. And then that JSON file that you download from the Discord server from Gilly, you're going to find it should look something exactly like this naming. Double click on that so you can add it to Wadudo. And then the next thing that you're going to do is that for this area, now I do want to elaborate this, if you're a webcam user, simply type on the top right here, media pipe. And then click and drag this over here. And then what you can do is that you can delete iFacial mode cap, connect head position over here, and then click the tracker if you have media pipe set up from onboarding assistance. Again, if you don't know what the heck onboarding assistance is, please go back to my older tutorials and you know, that should be covered in the basics. There's a media pipe tutorial that covers that. But if you're not a webcam user and you use VTube Studio app, whether Android or iPhone, or you use Meowface, then simply type in VTube Studio. And then you can connect head position here instead and connect it to the tracker that you set it up to. But otherwise, for my case, I'm using Face Motion 3D, so I'm gonna use iFacial MoCap Receiver because they have the same receiver and they're made by the same person. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up to the iFacial MoCap Receiver for my case. Again, if you have any other tracking solution, please apply your knowledge to it as, you know, um, it's different on a case-to-case -case basis, but I should have covered the basics on that part. Then over here, now this can be a little backwards, uh, as this is set to left Annie. This is actually referring to the right foot. They're talking about left in terms of left as in this left, this is left, where I'm pointing at, and this is right, that's how it will set up. Um, but it's kind of backwards, so left means right and right means left for this blueprint. So make sure that for this, set this to the right foot. And then the other one, set it to the left foot, like so. And then once you have that, you should be able to start having steppies. And it should work like so. Now, of course, you can fine tune the results. So, for example, that initial startup where your foot kind of just went all the way down, uh, you can fine tune it by simply like adjusting the Y value here, if you like. Um, so that's that's something that you can do. You can, you know, adjust that if you like. Um, you can, again, it's kind of to your taste. It's a more of a trial and error because I can't really tell you what's the best settings. Because uh, again, it's a matter of a case by case basis. But just remember that Y is referring to um, up and down, X is referring to left and right, and Z is back and forth. Again, you look at the arrow for reference here. Um, but pretty much you can adjust the value by simply, you know, messing with either negative numbers. Like, let's say, for example, I set this to negative 0.1, for example. And as you can see, my foot goes even lower. And then I can set this um, to a positive, let's say 0.2 or 0.3, I accidentally put where the foot is a bit higher. So, you know, you can fine tune the settings to how you want it. So pretty much here, when you're going outer, it will make it higher. And then this is kind of like where it goes back to its stationary position, if that makes sense. So, you know, you can adjust it to what you like. Um, I'm gonna put these for 0.1 for my case, uh, just cause of my model's legs. So I'm going to do that. There you go. So there you go. And uh, again, you can adjust how you want. You can even adjust the foot rotation by adjusting these values here. So Y again rotates this way. Um, and then X will rotate over here. Like it'll make the foot rotate up and down. This rotates side by side. And then the Z, Z over here will rotate like this if that makes sense so you know again just experiment the values i hope i'm kind of making sense with it um with the whole like explaining to like absolute beginners like or somewhat absolute beginners on rotation stuff again if you don't know 3d please study some blender real quick or unity but otherwise best with the values that's pretty much all i have to really much say 
And congrats, you just got live TV like Steppies, and you can, of course, fine tune it to your liking. And again, if you need further assistance, I recommend joining the Wadado Discord server so that way you can be able to, you know, to get some further assistance. Or if, you know, for this blueprint in particular, you can ask Gilly um, if there's like something that is confusing you and they can be happy to help you out. Of course, there's more adjustments that you can do, like messing with other numbers, but again, that's a bit more of like advanced territory so you know experiment the numbers um you know it's okay to break stuff because you're just learning but you know if you are going to be you know editing as like a final product thing again just take your time take your time with editing you know that's that's all i can tell you just you know take your time but otherwise that's all i have to say have a lovely day everyone enjoy those live 2d steppies going on wah and yeah with that being said, though, hey, 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 goodbye, bye, everyone. Hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise, though, just your support means so much to me, and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way, though, with that being said, though, hey, 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 goodbye, bye, everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye-bye!